drill for you today. We're going to be working in plank and side plank, putting the two together to create a transitional flow. Here's what this will look like on the ground before we take it to the line. You're going to start in a traditional plank, wrists underneath shoulders, heels pushing back, shoulder blades spread wide. From there, we're going to do two chaturanga push-ups. So going down, but not letting our elbows go past our back. Doing two of those, and then we're going to transition to the side plank. Stacking the ankles, pushing down into the earth, lifting straight up to the sky, keeping the hips lifted. Hold for a moment, come back to plank, two push-ups, and then side plank on the other side. Stack the ankles, push down into the earth, lift the top arm and the hips. Hold for a moment, come back to plank, two more push-ups, back to side plank on the other side, keep going. This is what it looks like on the line. So we're not actually on the line, but our feet are. So there's two positions. One, the toes right here. Two, back here where the ankle meets the foot. So you can play with both those, see which one you like. I prefer tops of my toes. Make sure you get in a nice stacked position with the wrist directly under shoulders once again. Two chaturanga push-ups. Moving into side plank, I'm going to turn the bottom foot, stack the top one, press down into the earth, lift the top arm and the hips. Remember to breathe here. Hold for a moment, back to push up. Transitioning to the other side, stack the ankles, press down into the earth, lift the hips and the top arm. Hold for a moment, transition back. Two more push. Continue doing this until you've done an equal amount of side planks on both sides and be mindful of how long you're holding the side plank on each side. So try to keep it even. This is a great training drill to train both sides of the body, building the strength in your forearms, building the strength in your biceps, triceps, chest, core. And if you need a challenge, take and lift the line up about five, six inches from where it is now. So to start, you're pretty level. To make it hard, increase the line height, elevating your heels. This will make it much more difficult and a great challenge. We want to see your progress, so keep us tuned in with what's happening. Send us your progress to Slacker Bats Instagram or YouTube, and let us know what's happening. Keep training. Till next time.